versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! Victory or death! We're always keeping frothing against Reno decks. It's such a good threat. This is a good curve. I like drawing Alexstrasza Champion here. Alexstrasza Champion and Zostra Smay are my best draws. I don't have a dragon yet. Uh, I might get one. Regardless though, if it is Reno Lock, I'd probably play Alexstrasza Champion over Fire War Axe in turn two. Even if I don't have the dragon. Because it does repetitive damage, whereas Fire War Axe is sitting there and opens itself to his. I don't think it's a reason not like to mulligan the fire war axe though, that's crazy. For the life binder. For the dragon queen. Hope it isn't a doomsayer. That, that pretty much stops me in my tracks. I feel like we're trying to kill him before turn 6 sometimes here. I'm gonna attack with this Fire War Axe because I have so many charges of them. And I think we have a chance of killing him before Reno. We're actually one off lethal next turn with how this is. But if he plays... Okay, so I can Reno next turn. Reno's the realistically like the only way he wins. He's using his coin, no Reno, but he probably doesn't have Reno in his hand. Maybe he should have saved to bluff though. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Let me do some calculations. It's at 14. If I go all face <clears throat> him for 6 this turn, 14 minus uh, 6 is 8. We need the Blackwing Corruptor hit in his face, then we can kill him with Fire War Axe. Whereas if we waste our I'll cry on his mistress. It doesn't work, but we play on PO. I don't think he has Reno. So maybe it's best to play around PO. I guess it really doesn't have Reno, because I think the coin mistress is kind of weird if he does. It makes sense if he doesn't have Reno that he would coin Mistress and Mixtures though. Right, because he can't coin Reno anyways, and then he needs to play Mistress now so he can suicide it. Well, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah, I don't think he has Reno. Okay, this, this pretty much confirms no Reno. I don't think anyone ever Reno instead of that. Draw for Crusher? No, 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 no. I don't have Crusher. Drawing? I don't have any two drops there. I use both champions. So let's, let's play this pull up patches first. Fly, Polly. I run one book room. You can see the deck list. Or the right, although I guess that since this is a tracker, some cards go away. It just grays out. Oh, I see why it's confusing. But yeah, it's, it's one book room. P.O. Shadow Flame, maybe? Interesting. Exactly, Thul. I'm sure we're a little bit over with the execute. I probably should have shown the execute. <laughs> Too fancy. Okay, <laughs> it's. I think it's maybe time to stop playing Hunter and try to hit legend because uh, I got ranked like 5 last season or ranked 6 last season so I actually have a lot of points for BlizzCon next, next split. Hmm. Ridden for Tice. Yeah, he's good. 
I was kind of close. I mean, I played in prelims, uh, went like four and two, four and three. We're losing damage by not going out Astro Champion. I like player on Doomsayer. I was originally playing Coin Frothing, and then if he plays Dooms here in turn 3, I can just, you know, kill with Frothing and charging Alex Rowe Champion stuff. This is weird now. Hmm. I can play Frothing anyways, but Fish Shadow Bolt, Demon Wrath. I'm kind of a fan of playing Frothing here, though. I messed up the prelims. I, I played some one game bad against Frozen and lost to him, and then I was like 4 and 2, and then I dropped out. I should have dropped out. Of the Swiss. I thought the tiebreakers worked a little differently and I kind of dropped that when I set a chance. We're not going to be able to get him to carry a uh, crusher range, huh? I guess it's between life tap and patches so I can kill this. Like right now, my monkey's dead on board. If I can make my monkey not dead on board, it's still not contesting his six drops like Emperor. But I need the three damage to have a chance to kill Emperor. I mean, another thing is I need a tap to get some. Ah, probably just crusher on six, huh? Yeah, okay, let's. Yeah, I think it's, I have to do this. This is playing more towards the curve of Crusher into Curator, and this way, if he plays the 6-drop, at least he doesn't get to kill my monkey. I'm really weak to the 6-drops right now, but I mean, at, le at least I have to have, like, winning the board, because right now 3-3 three, three is not being my 3-4. Miss Stray, thanks for the resub. Welcome back to the Strife crew. Here is a Crowfist. Do you think two mana discover pre spell C play seems weak? That card seems weak to me as well. It's made for like combo decks. Priest is very inconsistent, but paying two mana for just that to find you know a combo card like Circle Healing, I don't see it being that great. Face is the place. Both targets are good, I'm not sure what's better. Because I had to get him to a crusher range like this, with the Nazosphorus mate. He just uses Life and Soul, could set Blast Crystal Potion. Sylvanas is really scary. My eyes are open. Oh, that heal was pretty clutch. I can't activate Crusher anymore. It looks like these two, and then I can charge plus Crusher next turn. Question is, do I play as last first mate? Yeah, I think I play over tap. It's not as mana efficient, but I need this hook to start attacking, because next turn I'll have mana if I play Crook Cr Lead and Crusher. What now? I can also do this to be more mana efficient. Does that make sense? Be rich. 
too early for Deathwing right now. Maybe soon after he deals with this board. Maybe next turn. If he takes his dragon attack here, or he gets Deathwing after the trade. He's kind of throwing lethal on me. I might have to Deathwing here just because he has 11 power on board. Now he has 6 plus 8, 14 power. I'd probably die here if I don't Deathwing here. Because I have to take the damage by trading here. It's like one Hellfire kills me. That's a little Excuse using some chance to maintain board control. I mean, I don't see myself winning this game, but better to do this than not. Probably dead. But we still have to go for board control, try to hit him with like this kind of board instead of uh like just leaving up Emperor and hitting him in the face. <laughs> Cause then at least like th that way on board, you know, we his Emperor can trade for our Drake on board or my frothing. Or he could kill me. So the only safer play would be to trade Drake in, save a weapon, but uh I'd still die to combos feel eh, maybe not. Third can I'll die to Leroy and Faceless, but doesn't seem like the appropriate time to be playing around my health total. I think we leave up the 2 3. It's the only way we can win. He's used PO already. That is soul fire like this. Hmm. We're dead on board right now. If we just play the taunt. And Drake. We need to tap for something. Tap for Black and Corruptor. This is the same thing, Drake. What's the difference? If we tap an Alstra Champion, it's better. Because right, then we can trade 5 1 Alstra Champion and play the Guardian. Whereas, so, yeah, it's, tap is better than Drake. Because after our champion comes in out, not just Black and Corruptor. <laughs> I won that game. <laughs> I did not expect to win that game. Let's go for Nazos for Smate. Uh, Ravage and Ghoul are really good. Astro champion, Fire War Axe. This dragon work into aggro deck or control deck. It's considered more in the middle, but more aggro, like aggro mid range. Definitely not a control deck. For the life binder. Oh. For the life binder. For the dragon queen. Frothing's a 2-4, right? That can't be good against the 3-3. Three, three. 
It's like patches and just any one damage. I can't afford to tr go phase because I think in trade and then play frothing it would be a 4 4. Actually, had Hellfire in hand to go for the tie. That makes sense, yeah. I mean, I think you made the correct play. Because I had 25% chance of winning. Maybe with the top deck and the life tap, but still, I, I guess it's probably better to go for the risk. I mean, okay, so this is really weak to Black and Corruptor since Azure kills nothing with the Rusty Hook and Corruptor, but Azure Tree gives me two top decks and I, I can curve out with Fire War Axe and anything less than four mana. So I think I still play this. This game looks like a Deathwing win for me if I can win. Because I am behind on board against another Dragon Warrior. He might be running Deathwing. I mean, I, I think most people are running this deck list. I think it's getting kind of popular. So if I put Deathwing first, he can Deathwing, but at some point you don't have a choice. Okay, this kind of went well for us this turn. No Blackwing Corruptor. He would have pushed way ahead with Blackwing Corruptor. Hmm, we're in big trouble if he can kill our Crusher without trading in Twilight Guardian. If he has to trade in Twilight Guardian, I can cork around the Frothing. Okay, I think we're okay. He might even go face here. It makes sense either way. I think it makes sense for him to go face. Ooh, good top deck. Hey, how's it going? The menagerie is for guests only. Is this is a yellow rag time. I can push in a lot of damage with these two. Yeah, I like a rag. Even if I miss, I can curator plus axe after he takes the trade. If I hit, he's just too far behind tempo, unless he has execute. I know it's three of his cards are curator cards. Maybe two or three, I forgot how many she drew. I think it was three. I don't think he can activate execute with this rusty hook and then execute. That's too much damage. He would go to four, maybe six. Black Tiger, yeah. Bookworm's good, I think it's better than Curator. It's not as mana efficient, but it's better. Yeah, it's just better. It's more tempo in this tempo matchup. Whoever has to blink first, the Deathwing loses, pretty much. Deathwing? I mean, what face? Maybe Deathwing that. Deathwing is Deathwing. Probably Deathwing is Deathwing. I should definitely hear right. <laughs> yeah, I'm didn't do it. Probably loses. I don't see any move even being close as good. I'm not attacking. Deathwing's already 12. I'm just if he plays a taunt, maybe if I draw something like slam, I can get through a taunt with the with fire war axe plus slam or something. <laughs> yeah, I think so. The first person plays that thing probably loses, but you might have to. So it's like a tempo game leading up to it. 